Hey, what's good, YouTube? Mike here with another reaction video. We're going to have a little fun today. We are going down under once again. We've been spending a lot of time in Australia. We're going to spend at least a few more minutes there. So, shout out to my new channel member, Jeremy Koth, I believe is how you pronounce the last name. If, excuse me if I got that wrong. And... Um, yeah, it's something that was on the long list, right? I have a long list of things to get to. Um, but it just made it to a short list because as a channel member, his request gets fast-tracked. Shout out to you, Jeremy. And uh, the song is something that lots of you have requested anyway, so I'm sure it'll make many of you happy. Bow River by Cold Chisel. Yes, I have heard Cold Chisel before. That is true. I have heard uh, Ian Moss sing. I've heard Jimmy Barnes sing. And then I heard a uh, benefit thing where both Ian Moss and, uh, and uh, Jimmy Barnes were there, uh, among other uh, Cold Chisel members. Here's the distinction. I have never heard a cold chisel song. Never. I've never heard a cold chisel song. I can't believe I'm saying that out loud. After seeing them do those covers, they just seem like such veterans that uh, I forgot that I don't know much about them. I felt like I've known them. All right. Well, let's fix that now. Is everybody ready to go? Strap yourselves in. We're going for a ride. We're taking off now, heading to Australia. And vroom, vroom, we are there. No, we aren't. Oh, false landing, false landing. No worries, no worries. We're going. Should mention, this is from 2003. The previous stuff I was doing was from... Uh, 1983 it was their farewell concert and this is some kind of uh, them re-emerging here we go Okay, okay, we got the uh, piano. We got piano and guitar playing call and answer. Is that what we got going on? I would guess this is improvised because it sounds like uh, the playful nature of it. Okay, wait, wait, no. We got the singing's in there too. Here, I got to pay attention. <laughs> oh, listen now to the wind, babe, and listen now to the rain. I feel that water licking at my feet again. And I don't want to see this child no more. Wasting my The first thing you know, I'll be back in my river. Just the first thing you know, I'll be back in my river. Just the first thing you know, I'll be back in my river again. A Monica.
classy. He's doing the classic, put the microphone in your pants there to hold it. Or is he just happy to happy to be there? I missed that lyric. <laughs> is he just happy to be there? I oh, kill me sometimes. of harmony there? Yeah. Wow, look at the crowd. They're totally digging this, aren't they? Oh, wow, whoa, 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 they're playing in uh, the circle. The stage is uh, people all around, 360, 360 stage, like, uh, like Def Leppard did back in the day. That's intense. Oh, man, I've never played a show like that. That would require some getting used to, knowing which way to look and... Everything about this song is like veteran band, masters of their craft. This is like, you know, they don't write them like this anymore. I mean, I, I don't know if this would be a big hit today, which is a shame because this style is it's so moving live, right? That's how it's intended to be, too. I like the harmonica cry. Good. Got like a five string bass. Those rock and roll screams are amazing. Okay. At least I can tell with authority. Plays like a seventies guitar hero. His licks are all so rich. Oh man. That is like the golden era. The eighties got a little too flashy. 
the 70s where you could the type of flash they had in the 70s was so tasteful now oh okay i heard now i oh, i should have looked this stuff up before i started this so bon scott because i had mentioned something about jim jimmy burns sounding a little bit like bon scott at one point in one of the previous videos and someone mentioned so i'm aware that bon scott was in a band before acdc all right and i also aside i also also heard today that uh acdc had another singer before bon scott that's an aside we'll put that over on the back burner for now back to the uh, bon scott's previous band so jimmy barnes also sang in the band that bon scott was in before he joined acdc i forget what that band was called i'll bet one of you guys knows so yeah they do share a, a little lineage right uh, there there are so many intersections in rock and roll aren't there all right i went back. i don't remember how many times i went back but that's all right this guitar solo is worth hearing again Yeah, that's a wild lick right there. Hold on, hold on. See, this is like what I mean about the wild, that, that, that distinctly 70s wildness that he has going on here. Hold on. Right that. This right here. That's blues licks and stuff, yeah. Okay. Speaking of ACDC, whoo. So I've heard him hit that note on previous songs. It just, for some reason, sounded higher on this one than... It's a high E. It was the high note of the run so far, but he may have been going higher. Let me... Let's not. crazy on paper they shouldn't harmonize that well together like if you were just if you listen to like a thousand tapes or, or of singers and you're like okay who can who can we throw together and you all you did was get to hear them sing and you heard jimmy barnes's tape and you heard ian moss's tape you would never think oh these guys that's who we should throw together and that's why everything has to be organic because that's how magic is created. <laughs> now Ian Moss is running around.
Oh yeah, I love big endings. We hear that echo on his guitar. Yeah, that was dope. Yeah. I can't imagine uh, if you already had any kind of nostalgic ties to the song when you saw this performance. Your socks would be blown clean off. That's probably why flip-flops are so popular in Australia. Probably because of this. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Um, quick aside, it seems like the uh, alcohol might have been a bit much, hey? If you look at uh, Ian Moss and Jimmy Barnes, Ian Moss definitely uh, has played the age game a little better at this point anyways, which was 2003, I believe. Ian Moss still looks like pretty much the same. Jimmy definitely looks a little different. Still sings like an M -er. That's right. If you can decipher that secret code. Yes, M and F stand for other words. And then er. Er at the end. So that's that. Good job. I love it. I loved it. All right. If you enjoy uh, watching this type of content, hey, why not like the video? It helps it spread around a little. It's good for the algorithm. And uh, subscribe because uh, that's also cool. And you won't miss any new videos. And uh, yeah, shout out again to Jeremy for uh, requesting this. And don't forget to put a yo down in the comments. I'm, uh, as I mentioned before, I am saving up yos. And uh, well, I have big plans for my yos. So be, uh, you know, be free. You can leave up. Two or three is probably the maximum you want to leave, but uh, at least one would be, I'd be grateful. Thanks. Um, all right, we'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to watch one of these videos.